Hey everybody! Do you need to make your AirPods louder? There's a variety of reasons why you might need them louder and a wide variety of options to make them louder. In this video, I'll show you all the ways to make your AirPods louder from the basics of adjusting your volume to more advanced settings and show you all the ways through both software and hardware to make your AirPods louder. So let's get to it! First, let's go over the basics of the volume controls. For all AirPods models, you can of course adjust the volume using the music or media player app you're using, adjust it through Control Center, use the volume buttons on your iPhone, and of course use Siri to increase the volume by saying something like, Hey Siri, turn it up! Or, Hey Siri, set volume to 65%. If you have second generation AirPod Pros, you can adjust the volume by placing your thumb on the stem of either AirPod and use your index finger to swipe up or down on the touch control. And if you have AirPods Max, you can of course use a digital crown. And a bonus, in case you didn't know, if you have an Apple Watch, you can use the Now Playing app to connect to your iPhone and adjust the volume using its digital crown. That one I find pretty handy at the gym. If you find you still need to make your AirPods louder, you can make sure your AirPods don't automatically reduce loud sounds. To adjust this setting, Go to the Settings app on your iPhone, then go to Sounds and Haptics, then tap Headphone Safety, then make sure Reduce Loud Sounds is turned off. Next, you can also adjust the audio tuning. To adjust this setting, go to the Settings app on your iPhone, then tap Accessibility, then scroll down and choose Audio Visual, then tap Headphone Accommodations. In this menu, you can adjust the audio tuning. There's three options. Balanced Tone, which is the default, and boosts over a range of frequencies. Vocal Range, which boosts the middle frequencies. And Brightness, which boosts the high frequencies. When you choose the range to boost, then you can use the slider underneath to boost the desired setting to make your AirPods louder. If you're an Apple Music user, you can also check the custom audio settings for Apple Music, as they can also cause your AirPods not to be as loud as you may like. There are two primary settings in Apple Music that may cause this, Sound Check and the Equalizer. The Sound Check feature basically tries to keep your volume consistent across all songs. This ensures that you will still get the same volume when you go from a quieter song to a louder one. Tweaking the Equalizer or EQ setting can also be why your AirPods sound quieter. Lowering the EQ sliders for a certain frequency range means suppressing sounds in that frequency which leads to an overall lower volume. So you can go make sure these settings are disabled. Open the Settings app on your iPhone and scroll down to Music. Then scroll down and first make sure the EQ is switched to Off. If it's on, tap the control and choose the Off option. Under that, make sure the Sound Check option is also switched off. If you still need to make your AirPods even louder, make sure that they are clean. Earwax and dirt buildup on the headphone speaker can cause your AirPods to be quieter, or even muffled. The recommended way to clean your AirPods is to gather these three things and clean them. Isopropyl alcohol, a toothpick, and an old toothbrush, or some other type of small brush with soft bristles. Using these three things, you can clean your AirPods effectively. First, lightly spray the speaker mesh with a drop of isopropyl alcohol, and leave it for a few seconds. Then use the toothpick to pick out the dirt and debris from around the speaker mesh. Then lightly brush the speaker mesh area with the old toothbrush to clean out the mesh holes. Repeat until all the dirt and debris is cleaned out. I found, if you don't have the isopropyl alcohol, that spraying the speaker holes out with a can of compressed air can often work pretty well too. And lastly, if you've done all this, you may want to try resetting your AirPods, as this can fix many AirPods issues including them not being loud enough in some instances. Bear in mind, if you reset your AirPods, then you'll want to double check the changes we made in the Settings app earlier, as they will be reset back to factory default settings. The steps to reset your AirPods are the same for all models except for the AirPods Max. To reset your AirPods, you'll need to make sure both of them are in the case. Open the lid, and then press and hold the pairing button on the back. Eventually, the status light will start blinking amber. Continue to press and hold the pairing button. Then finally, the status light will blink white. When the status light blinks white, you can then let go of the button. 
Now that the AirPods are reset, you can pair them again with your iPhone by first closing the case, waiting a moment, and then opening the case beside your iPhone. This will then start the pairing process from scratch. And to reset the AirPods Max, first, Apple recommends charging your AirPods Max for a few minutes to make sure they have enough power to go through the process. Then press and hold both the noise control button and digital crown for 15 seconds until the LED flashes amber, then white. Now, you can go through and connect the AirPods Max back to your iPhone or computer from scratch. If your iPhone or computer are not picking up the AirPods Max to set up again, press and hold the noise control button until the LED flashes white to put them in connect or discovery mode. Those are all the ways I know to make your AirPods louder. Did I miss something you know? Which of these worked the best for you? Feel free to share with us in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell for more tech videos, including tech how to's. See you in the next one. Hey everybody, welcome to my short video about how to answer your phone when it's ringing from your AirPods. I've noticed in the last six to eight months, this happens to be one of the most popular questions I seem to get. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to answer your phone if it happens to be ringing when you're wearing your AirPods. I'll be showing you how to do this on all versions of the AirPods. The original, the AirPods Pro, and the AirPods Max. So stay tuned. First, on the original AirPods, both first and second generation, to answer a call when the phone is ringing, simply double tap the AirPods. If you happen to have call waiting, and another call comes in when you're already on the phone, just double tap to answer the new one and put the current one on hold. To switch between the calls, double tap again. And finally, to hang up or end a call, just double tap. In regards to the AirPods Pro, to answer a call when your phone is ringing, squeeze or press the force sensor once. To decline a call and send to voicemail, press the force sensor twice, like a double squeeze or double click. For call waiting, press the force sensor once to answer the call and put the current one on hold. And to switch between calls, press the force sensor once. And finally, to hang up or end the call, press the force sensor once. To answer a call on your AirPods Max, when your phone rings, press the digital crown like a button on your headphones once, as the digital crown operates as a dial and a button. To decline a call and send it to voicemail, double press the digital crown, similar to the idea of a double click. When you're on the phone and get a second call with call waiting, press the digital crown once to put the current call on hold and answer the new one. Press the digital crown once to switch between the calls. And finally, to hang up or end the call, press the digital crown once. Additionally, if you're looking to make a call from any version of AirPods, you'll need to summon Siri and say something like, Hey, call Michael, or whatever contact you're looking to call. You can also specify the phone number, like saying, Hey, call 1-866-222-3456, and Siri will dial the number for you. See how easy it is to use your AirPods on phone calls? If you have any other unique questions about your AirPods, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Your question may inspire a future video. Also, if you'd like to learn more about how to use your AirPods, check out my AirPods or AirPods Pro user guides. I'll leave links in the description below. I'm also working on a user guide for the AirPods Max, so stay tuned. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And while you're down there, don't forget to ring that bell and subscribe to the channel for more tech videos, including tech how-tos, every week. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.